All right, it's that time of year when movies get hyped up for award season. But first, Hollywood is mourning the loss of a very Brady mother. Here's a story of a lovely lady. Florence Henderson has died at the age of 82. The actress best known for her role as matriarch Carol Brady in The Brady Bunch passed away at Cedar sinai Hospital yesterday from heart failure. Her four children were by her side. Henderson's career spanned over five decades and included several roles on Broadway. Maureen McCormick, Henderson's on-screen daughter, Marsha Brady, took to Twitter to say, Florence Henderson was a dear friend for so very many years and in my heart forever. Love and hug to her family, I'll miss you dearly. Wait, nobody can appreciate what you've been through. And if you really feel you can't take this on, yeah, that's your right. Critics are praising Casey Affleck for his turn as a grieving janitor whose older brother's death leaves him the sole guardian of his teenage nephew. You want me to call your friends? What do you want me to do? When the tender indie drama premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival, our TIFF correspondents Colin and Justin caught up with Affleck to find out how he feels about this being called his, quote, career-defining role. So you spent 25 years doing something and you better like the people you're working with, from journalists to actors to producers to everything. So when they say, hey, we like you too, and it feels good. Now, Affleck was originally going to be directed by his older brother Ben's best buddy, Matt Damon. Damon and another famous name, John Krasinski, were the ones who came up with the idea for Manchester by the Sea. Actually, Damon was also potentially going to star in it too before scheduling conflicts got in the way. Is there any part of you that's jealous of your own actors, that you're not one of them in this occasion? Of course, yeah. especially Casey. You know, I've known him for 35 years, and I'm like, I can't. I can't believe I gave you this part. Like, what was I thinking? I'm just a backup. Meanwhile, Terry Hart caught up with Affleck's co stars in Entertainment City's Tiff Lounge, where they dissected what's at the core of this story. I think at first blush, people are going to think that Manchester by the Sea is about grief. And I think it's actually about shame. Everybody in the movie is dealing with grief. The difference for Casey is shame. Do you think that's fair? I would say hope over grief and despair and shame. <laughs> There's a survival aspect to it. There's an adaptation aspect to it. There's a, a reality that people have to overcome and can overcome and do overcome and, and how they do it and what they learn about themselves in, in so doing. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's uplifting in that way. I, fi I find that. I don't, everyone may see it differently. And another attestment to how great the film is. Mm -hmm. As always, be sure to get your entertainment news first here in the morning and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.